Hey guys, Mike the Tech here. Today I'm going to show you how to do cutaways in iMovie. Now I'm a little embarrassed to admit this, but I did not know how to do this um, a few days ago. Uh, I, I just couldn't get multiple cameras in, and uh, it, it still doesn't support multiple cameras, but it does support cutaways, which lets us use multiple cameras. Well, up to two cameras. Um, so if we go to iMovie and um, basically just pull in one of these clips here uh, I'm just going to do the whole thing if we pull in a clip make sure that you start with the clip that has the best audio because you can do it the other way and just separate the audio and do all that stuff but it's a little bit more involved uh, just choose the one with the best audio first even if it's not the main uh, clip you want to use uh, because that's the one that's going to be your main clip essentially and the other clip is going to be your cutaways so you want to have one continuous audio stream throughout the whole movie or you know show or whatever you're doing uh, that way it's not cutting back and forth and being kind of weird so I went ahead and dragged this one in and I'll go ahead and cut it down to size so I'm not going to you know sync the audio or anything in this one that's not what this video is about but I will um, let's see I will show you how to do the cutaway portion because that is what this video is about. So let's go ahead and go back here and um, grab this second video and see just what happens. When I drag it over here to add it to the clip, um, this happens. It says replace, insert, audio only, or cancel. This is not what we need. That's really basic. It doesn't give us any of the options we're looking for, specifically the cutaway option. So if you go up here to your iMovie preferences, you'll see show advanced tools. This is off by default, but if you turn it on, it gives access to a lot of new features like dual mode toolbar, keyword controls, cutaways, picture in picture, green screen, additional replace modes, and chapter markers. So we went ahead and enabled that. And you see we got a couple extra little buttons here. And now let's try that same thing over here. Let's drag that back over here. Now this is more like it. Uh, we have a ton of new options, including the cutaway option and picture in picture which is really useful. Side by side is great too. But we're going to want to use the cutaway in this in this uh, video. So we'll go ahead and choose cutaway. And as it's starting to look more familiar, we have two uh, video clips on top of each other. It's not quite the same thing as layers, but it's close. So the thing to remember in this is whichever one is on top is what you're going to see. So here in the beginning, the bottom clip right here is shown. Once you get over to this clip, that clip shown. So let's go ahead and you know, move this over here. And let's say right when it gets to this point, I want it to go to the other clip. So we will split it here. And let's say I don't want that to come back up until about here. So I'm going to delete that whole space right here. There we go. So now it's going to be on this bottom camera until it gets to this point. Switches over to the cutaway camera. And then it switches right back. So let's... Actually, I'm going to go ahead and shorten that so it's a little easier because I think it's pretty long right now. All right, let's see what it looks like. Interactive projector. It's a Dell S500WI. And it's a great projector. It runs about $1,600. The, um, the mount is not... And there's like the original camera. So this is a nice way to deal with multiple cameras, uh, or at least two cameras. It doesn't let you do three or four. If you know of a way to do three or four in iMovie, please let me know. I've been trying to figure this out for a while. But for now, uh, two cameras works great. Uh, in this example, I'm using a Kodak Max Z990 and a C615, I believe, uh, webcam. So it's switching between them just fine, two completely different sources. And it lets us do cutaways. This is great if you're reviewing like a small product. You can zoom in on, on like the little, you know, whatever you're reviewing, and go back to you talking, go back to the product, go back to you talking, or even just like I'm doing here, two different angles of the same thing. Uh, so yeah, I hope this taught you something. For some reason, I have no idea how to do this. It seems really basic now that I see it, but I couldn't find much online about it either. So uh, yeah, this is how you deal with two cameras at once in iMovie, uh, just use the cutaway feature and you'll be able to switch between the cameras as you please.
All right. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, thanks for watching, and if you like this video, please like it and subscribe, and maybe share it with your friends if you think they might be interested. All right. Peace.